This Week in Jamaica Now. We can assure you that we will bring the perpetrators to justice. The probe into the murder of two American missionaries in St. Mary. Trinidad commits to improving conditions for Jamaicans denied entry. Why the Health Ministry has issued a warning about eating ackees, the latest in the Al Miller trial, and Mother's Day greetings, plus a song for Mama from the streets of Kingston. The details of these and other stories coming up after the break. It's the Great Exhibition, Jamaica's Gleaner 180, an epic journey with the people. Politics, sports, culture, and so much more. Reliving the moment, recapturing the mission. Jamaica's Gleaner 180, chronicling Jamaica's history. Get your copy today at the Gleaner's main offices in Kingston, Montego Bay, Ocherius, and Mandeville, or at the RJR Gift Shop, 32 Linters Road, Kingston 10. I'm Carlene Brown and this is Jamaica Now. Law enforcement officials from the United States have now joined local investigators probing last weekend's murder of American missionaries, 48-year-old Randy Hensel and 53-year-old Harold Nichols. Police Commissioner Dr. Carl Williams says there is no motive yet in the murders, but he has vowed that the police will find the men who shot the missionaries and also chopped Mr. Nichols. I am optimistic, based on the amount of resources that we have committed to this, that we should be able to make some headway in this investigation. The Trinidadian government has pledged to establish a holding area at the Piarco International Airport and to train immigration officers following complaints about their treatment of Jamaicans denied entry. Jamaica's Foreign Affairs Minister Kamina Johnson-Smith says the matter of the treatment of Jamaicans and other Caribbean community nationals denied entry to Trinidad will also be raised at the next meeting of the CARICOM Heads of Government in July. A corporate area judge is to rule on June 14 whether popular pastor, the Reverend Merrick Al Miller, is guilty of corruption following his long-running trial for attempting to pervert the course of justice. Miller was charged in 2010 after then-fugitive Christopher Duddes Coke, dressed in a wig, was found in a vehicle the pastor was driving along the Mandela Highway in St. Catherine. Education Minister Senator Royal Reed has sought to assure high school principals that the money will be found to fund the planned expansion of the school feeding program from three to five days. He was responding to concerns by opposition spokesman on finance, Dr. Peter Phillips, that schools would have to use some of the additional money they receive for tuition to provide the extra meals. Not that we are saying that school cannot ask for contribution from parents. What we are going to be opposed is to say there are mandatory fees because Parent Teacher Association and other stakeholders have always supported schools and their lunch program, etc., etc. So this is why I'm saying outside of Parliament, we'll be having a discussion and a rallying with the stakeholders to ensure that our most needy and vulnerable students are provided for. The outgoing managing director of the state-owned Jamaica Urban Transit Company, JUTC, Colin Campbell, has declined to comment on his reason not to seek to renew his contract when it expires in August. The announcement of his impending departure from the JUTC came a day after Transport Minister Mike Henry announced that he ordered a management audit of the state bus company. The health ministry is urging people not to eat ackees that were forced open following two cases of ackee poisoning. The ministry says ackee contains high levels of a toxin called hypoglycin if it is not properly ripened and opened on its own. Energy Minister Dr. Andrew Wheatley says his ministry is focused on increasing the use of renewable energy to approximately 30% of Jamaica's total energy mix by 2030. Dr. Wheatley made the announcement during an interview with Jamaican journalists at the U.S. Caribbean Central American Energy Summit in Washington, D.C. It not only provides us with the opportunity for, for cheap energy, but it will en ensure that we move aggressively in protecting the environment. And that again is impacts significantly on climate change. 
And that's it for this edition of Jamaica Now, your weekly review of the big news stories. Send us your comments at online feedback at gleanerjm.com. You may tune into Power 106 FM for regular updates. Follow us on Twitter at Jamaica Gleaner and on Facebook at Gleaner Jamaica. I'm Carleen Brown, and before we go, Mother's Day greetings and a song for Mama from the streets of Kingston. Sending Mother's Day greetings to my mommy, Joan Harrison. Thank you, Mama, for the nine months you carried me through, through all these pains and sufferings. No one else, no depression, you bear, just only you. Yeah, happy Mother's Day, Mommy. Name's Marvin Hall, saying a happy shout out to Mommy. Happy Mother's Day, Mommy. Love you so much. I hope you have a great day. It's your day. Enjoy it. Bless up. Mother to my nice, wonderful mother, Miss Victoria Lewis. Well, I want to say a special shout out to my mother, you know, Miss Marcia, you're large, you know, big at the whole foot massive. Love you, mom. No. My name is Alicia and my mother is Miss Ivan. I want to say happy Mother's Day when it comes. Coming from your daughter and I love you and the rest of your children and your grandchildren. My name is Q, aka Mushroom Quality, yeah. I'm going to dedicate this one to Marilyn Richie, which is right. Mama! Mama, you know I love you.